Welcome, everyone. We are glad you are here. It is uh, Tuesday, and this is the Solemnity of All Souls. Um, going way, way back to the uh, late Middle Ages, um, there was a need, because the calendar was getting used up, to set aside time to pray for and intercess for all the saints. Um, that day has floated around the calendar liturgically and settled on the uh, on the first of November for all saints, and that's for all those commemorations that there was no day to offer them. Um, when it came time for remembering all faithful departed or all the souls, um, that day also has floated around in different traditions. Uh, that is usually that is now in our calendar is November second. Uh, Dia de los Muertes, Day of the Dead, in uh, many Mediterranean and Hispanic and Latinx cultures, um, particularly in Mexico, it's incredibly important, um, a, very, a very holy day, a very faithful observance that people uh, do everything they can to remember and unite the living and the dead. It's a time for family to be one and uh, to set apart the, 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 uh, the dividing line between life and death and be one in Christ. Um, all Souls itself is uh, a commemoration in which we remember all faithful departed, all those who were not saints in their generation necessarily, or were not canonists. Um, and oftentimes we tend to conflate those in the modern day. And friends of ours who are very um, Anglo-Catholic uh, will remind us, and actually I have a friend who always reminds us annually that the solemnity of All Souls is not the marking of the Feast of All Saints. So call to mind all those in ages past who have been important to you in your formation, who may or may not have been saints in their day, but in your heart hold a high place. So here we go. Time for the solemnity of all souls and morning prayer. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the antiphon and invitatory. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. <coughs> Excuse me. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Psalms 61 and 62, if you would be so kind. And uh, I realized, Laura, I was going to have you lead, but I just took it anyway. So you can read. Hold forth. Okay, that works. Okay, so you respond with the even, I'll offer the odd. You got it. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth, I call to you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you are my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me abide in your tent forever. Find refuge under the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Prolong the life of the king. May his years endure to all generations. May he be enthroned forever before God. Appoint steadfast love and faithfulness to watch over him. 
So I will always sing praises to your name as I pay my vows day after day. For God alone, my soul in silence, in waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation. My fortress, I shall never be shaken. How long will you assail a person? Will you batter your victim, all of you, as you would a leaning wall, a tottering fence? Their only plan is to bring down a person of prominence. They take pleasure in falsehood. They bless with their mouths, but inwardly they curse. For God alone, my soul waits in silence, for my hope is from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rests my deliverance and my honor. My mighty rock, my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Those of low estate are but a breath. Those of high estate are a delusion. And the balances they go up. They are together lighter than a breath. Put no confidence in extortion and set no vain hopes on robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. Once God has spoken, twice have I heard this. That power belongs to God. And steadfast love belongs to you, O Lord, for you repay all according to their work. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Nehemiah. Now at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought out the Levites in all their places to bring them to Jerusalem to celebrate the dedication with rejoicing, with thanksgivings and with singing, with cymbals, harps, and lyres. The companies of the singers gathered together from the circuit around Jerusalem and from the villages of the Netophathites and also from Bel Gilgal and from the region of Geba and Asmaveth. For the singers had built for themselves villages around Jerusalem and the priests and the Levites purified themselves and they purified the people and the gates and the wall. Then I brought the leaders of Judah up onto the wall and appointed two great companies that gave thanks and went in procession. One went to the right on the wall to the dung gate and Maasiah, Shehemiah, Eleazar, Uzi, Jehohanan, Mal Malkajah, Malkajah, Elam and Ezer, and the singers sang with Jezariah as their leader. They offered great sacrifices that day and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy. The women and children also rejoiced. The joy of Jerusalem was heard far away. On that day, men were appointed over the chambers for the stores, the contributions, the first fruits, and the tithes to gather them into the, into the portions required by the law for the priests and for the Levites from the fields belonging to the towns. For Judah rejoiced over the priests and the Levites who ministered. They performed the service of their God and the service of purification, as did the singers and the gatekeepers, according to the command of David and his son Solomon. For in the days of David and as, as Asaph, Asaph, long ago there was a leader of the singers, and there were songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. In the days of Zerubbabel and in the days of Nehemiah, all Israel gave the daily portions for the singers and the gatekeepers. They set apart that which was the Levites, and the Levites set apart that which was for the descendants of Aaron. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this morning is the song, second song of Isaiah. Together, seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. 
For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Revelation of John. Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, come and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there, but do not measure the court outside the temple. Leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample over the holy city for 42 months. And I will grant my two witnesses authority to prophesy for 1,260 days wearing sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. And if anyone wants to harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. Anyone who wants to harm them must be killed in this manner. They have authority to shut the sky so that no rain may fall during the days of their prophesying and they have authority over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they desire. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city that is prophetically called Sodom and Egypt where also their Lord was crucified. For three and a half days, members of the peoples and tribes and languages and nations will gaze at their dead bodies and refuse to let them be placed in a tomb. And the inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and celebrate and exchange presents because these two prophets had been, had been a torment to the inhabitants of the earth. But after three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them, and they stood on their feet, and those who saw, them, who saw them were terrified. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud while their enemies watched them. At that moment, there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. 7,000 people were killed in the earthquake, and the rest were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe has passed. The third woe is coming very soon. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Messiah, and he will reign forever and ever. Then the 24 elders who sit on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshiped God, singing, We give you thanks, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, for you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, raged but your wrath has come, and the time for judging the dead, for rewarding your servants, the prophets, and the saints, and all who fear your name, both small and great, and for destroying those who destroy the earth. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant was seen within his temple. And there were flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and heavy hail. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle is a song to the Lamb, together. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God 
from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. God, the maker and redeemer of all believers, grant to the faithful departed the unsearchable benefits of the passion of your son, that on the day of his appearing, they may be manifested as your children through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As you join me in a prayer tribute to St. Francis, if you have any concerns, please put those in the live chat on Facebook or on the uh, comment section of YouTube. We'll pray them at the next office, which will be five o'clock this evening for evening prayer uh, off of YouTube. And we'll pray them at the end of this collect attributed to St. Francis um, when it is time. But know that you are most welcome and please share your intercessions and thanksgivings so we may continue to hold them before God and in our hearts. Please join me. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith, where there is despair, hope, where there is darkness, light, where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray for Mildred and for her family as she recovers from a stroke. We give thanks for Ken's healing and wish him a happy birthday today. We give thanks for the life of Oscar, our Shelley family pet, who will be leaving this life today. It's been a long journey for him.
Grant to God that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you everyone for being with us. Uh, we During the office, we received an inquiry from Kathy Manon. Hello, Kathy, about what version of the Bible we use. In the Episcopal Church for our daily offices, um, we often use what's called the New Revised Standard Version. And there's actually an updated version of that. Um, and uh, it had some uh, corrections to some of the, and some expansions of translations. So NRSV is the translation you're looking for. In all things, know that we are most happy that you are with us. And if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. So your thumbs up and that bell helps us improve our algorithms and it gets the word out so we can welcome others home to St. Peter's. As well, if you're watching on Facebook, know that you are most welcome and we're glad you're with us. Please like and follow the page and that will give you notifications of when we come on live with content, which is twice a day. Uh, for morning and evening prayer, Monday through Thursday. And of course, we uh, offer other postings throughout the week as well. Sunday morning worship, noonday devotions on Wednesday, as well as a rector's vlog. Uh, please be aware that uh, we are in the midst of stewardship season. And uh, I shouldn't say that. We're always in stewardship season because we are always yeah. caring for God's creation. But we are in the midst of our annual campaign for mission and ministry for the coming year and commitments of giving are most welcome. You can go to our website, www.stpeterspotswood.org, two S's in the middle, and uh, click on the Give uh, tab at the top of the page. That will take you to the uh, page that will guide you and uh, support you in making decisions on whether you want to make a one-time gift to support St. Peter's, or if you would like to consider making a commitment of giving for the coming year to our mission and ministry. We appreciate your support, we appreciate your presence, and we are honored and blessed to welcome you home to St. Peter's, particularly on this day for the solemnity of the commemoration of all souls. Call to mind those who are with us in spirit but not in flesh, and give thanks for the lives and the impact they have had upon us in our day. In all things, know that we're glad you are here, and uh, we'll see you at five o'clock for evening prayer. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.